oh my goodness, guys, it was Atlanta. And this must have been, God, I'm doing this off the top of my head, but this had to be six, no, it wouldn't have been six years ago. Number of years ago, I guess I'll have to leave, well, it would have been four, would have been just over four years ago. Dominic Reyes, John Jones, and my wife had come out to this. And my wife stayed back at the hotel. I'm on set, I'm at the venue, I'm gonna be part of the post show, I'm taking in the main event here. And my wife gets sick and she's gotta to go to the hospital. So they pull me out of the venue, put me in the car, boom, I meet my wife at the hospital. And I share that because the main event was still going on. So I'm in the emergency room and there's some very serious things around us. My wife's situation was, was much less, but there were some very serious things. I mean, the, the emergency room in Atlanta on a Saturday at midnight, I, mean, I just gotta just tell you like, this is a dangerous place to be. There's some people that really need some help. I'm watching the fight and I don't want anybody to know. I'm, I'm watching the last two rounds of Reyes versus John Jones. But in that scene, I felt like that wasn't appropriate. It was one of those things, but in my life and what I'm there to do and in my profession, this is one of the hottest things and one of the biggest, I can't believe I'm watching. I mean, I cannot believe what I'm seeing. Reyes, who people didn't know a lot about, you know, he stood pretty tall, about six foot four. It's a good size 205 pounder. Dominic Reyes was training and he had a number of good wins, but nothing that would lead you to believe that he could compete with John Jones, just that he's the next guy to compete with John Jones. And that's just the truth. That's just the reality of what we thought we were going to see. Now, when it was over, things became a little bit more clear, like youth matters. Uh, like the longer you're in the sport, you don't necessarily improve like other sports, right? Youthful and motivation and fill in the blanks with these different buzzwords. But I remember watching that fight and I'm watching some of it and then I'm having to read about some of it. And I'm watching some of it and I'm reading the play by plays and I couldn't believe what I was seeing. And anything that you would think would be basic logic on John Jones is not at any part of his life, including his competitive life, including this fight. For example, if John was to get any knock, there's any naysayer out there that wanted to knock him, they give John the same knocks that they would give Conor McGregor, which is in his personal life, he is not focused and dedicated enough on the sport. Okay, great. That's fine. And likely accurate. Comparative to other people, likely accurate. But what does that tell us? Well, that tells us that he's not going to be able to go as hard as the opponent. First and foremost, it doesn't mean like his kick gets worse. It doesn't mean that his punch slows down. It doesn't mean that his, his IQ diminishes. It means if you're not trained and dedicated like other guys, should the worst case scenario come, which is the end of the night. A combat athlete's biggest fear is not failure. His biggest athlete is exhaustion, that he will reach a level of fatigue that he cannot follow the basic rule, which is to protect yourself at all times. And if John, in fact, like McGregor, is not living the right lifestyle, the one thing we know is he can't go hard at the end of the night. Well, he did. He won the fifth round. As a matter of fact, I believe John Jones has won every fifth round. His fight with Tiago was close. Guess what? He won the fifth round. His fight with Gustafson is the greatest light heavyweight fight I've ever seen. Guess what? He won the fifth round. His fight with Rashad Evans, I understood that he, he, he won those rounds, but he also won the fifth round. His fight with Glover Teixeira, he also won the fifth round. I mean, I'm just letting you know, like, that's not the way that's supposed to work. If you're not training properly, you're not supposed to have that gas tank. And it, it's one of the many things that John can do that makes the rest of us that are supposed to be experts sit back and go, well, I, 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 I can't explain it. I can't explain it. He's a one of a kind. Yeah, okay, that's true. He's a one of a kind. You want to know why I bring that up? Dominic Reyes just fought. There's an article I, I was just reading. It was actually payouts. Reyes got a quarter million dollars. He was the highest paid guy on the card, which is very cool. But Dominic Reyes had this wonderful moment against John Jones that wasn't expected to have, and then he got all the pressure in the world put on him. Everybody's watching him. He is the, he's the next big star. He's the one that's coming out. We're gonna get the rematch with John Jones. It's gonna be a changing of the guard. Look at this guy. Look at this guy standing six foot four. Look how big he is. Like all of a sudden, all the things that we already knew about Dominic start getting said in a very different light. And it wasn't all moonlight and canoes. Dominic started to have a hard time and guys did start studying him. And guys did start coming in with different plans. And guys did look at him as the next guy, which added motivation to them to go out and compete well 
with Dominic. And Dominic had to pick himself back up. This was a tremendous win that he had. I, I was very impressed with Dominic because I understood to a high level what he was going through and that he knew in the locker room, this could be my last time, right? He knows that. Even though the media is not talking about it, he knows how tough this industry is to keep the lights on in your own career. So he had a relief. He had a pleasure and he had a, uh, he was proud of himself and he had a relief and he made a comment about John Jones and he made a comment about a lot of people thought he won that fight. He thought he won that fight. Okay, fine. Right. There's nothing to see here. You would think, well, it was for John. It got his feathers up. And John said, you know, what, what kind of a, what kind of a, a pride do you have in the statement of, I lost a fight that I was supposed to lose, but it was closer than people thought it would be. And that's all John said. It was a simple question, but John had felt that he had been attacked by Reyes. So John attacked back. Reyes didn't use profanity and put him down. John didn't respond with profanity or put him down. He met fire with fire, but there's two things there. First off, I think John is misunderstanding. When Dominic said that, I don't believe he was trying to attack John Jones at all. I think he was trying to just remind everybody of why he has confidence and faith in himself and why he knows that he can do better because he had this match with the GOAT. He didn't say those words, but I think that's what Dominic meant. It was something more along those lines. And to John, to John responding and believing that he was being attacked it is so fascinating to me. What makes John Jones tick? What what keeps him going? It's a very interesting thing. The single greatest thing that could, could happen for John Jones, and that's saying a lot, he's got a lot of records. He has a lot of records right now, but if he could bookend this thing, if John Jones could be the youngest champion ever, which he is, and he can then be the oldest champion ever, which he's not, not yet. And who is, guys? Is it Randy Couture? Randy Couture at 44 years old. Isn't that the record? Or it's Randy Couture at 42 years old. And I'm just sharing with you, if John Jones can do that, is there a conversation anymore? There's a debate now. You can bring up drug tests. You can bring up competition. There's a way you could have the debate. It's getting harder and harder, but you could have it. Could you have it? Would it even be possible? if John's could book in this. And I bring that to you because I don't see any signs yet that he can't. I don't, I don't see any signs. Now I would guess that motivation won't be there because that's always key. I would guess that his drive and what's this about when it be, he's already climbed those mountains. He's already done everything. He's not gonna try to be champ, champ, champ because of his weights, right? 205 to 80, but there, there's not another one to go to and he's not, dropping back down so what could he do what could he possibly do that hasn't been done well he could bookend it that's what he could do that's the one thing that he's got left that he could do and how or where he would find the motivation and, and then you see things like this you see things that piss him off enough to come out and speak about it whether he's interpreted it correctly or not that, that isn't the point the point is when I ask the question and I know you wonder it too what makes John Jones tick it's not what you think, but it's little things like this. And having somebody out there that feels they should get credit that John feels he earned is one of those things that pisses him off. And I just find that psychologically interesting.